friends, this is your video for Tuesday, March 24th. And we're gonna start out today by learning our new sight word, which is the worksheet you're going to be working on today. So, here's our new sight word. This, this. So TH, remember, says th, th, this. All right, it's spelled T H. I S. Say it with me. T H I S. All right, take your finger and let's write this in the air. T H I S. Let's do it one more time. T H I S. All right, can you think of a sentence that uses the word this, I'll think of one. I would like to go to this restaurant tomorrow. Did you think of a sentence with this? This is our new sight word. <laughs> All right, how many syllables are in this? Clap. This. Did you count just one time? If you did, you're right. This only has one syllable. All right, good job, friends. Okay, we're gonna do something a little different today. And Mrs. Eaton's going to read you a few things out of my Big Wonders book. So let me grab it. And I'm going to start out first by reading this poem with this giant train right here. And it says, the big idea, where can you go that is near and far. Hmm. Where can you go that is near and far? All right, this poem is called From Here to There. I'll switch it over right here. Here we go. Jickety can. The train goes running along the line. Jickety can, jickety can. I wish it were mine. I wish it were mine. Jickety can, jickety can. Jickety, jickety, jickety can. Whoa, that's kind of a silly name for a train, isn't it? Jickety, can you say jickety? It kind of reminds me of the book that we read, The Little Engine That Could. Do you remember that book? And at the end of the book, he's saying, or in the middle of the book, he's saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And then he goes down the hill, and what is he saying? I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. That's right. Okay. All right, what can help you go from here to there? Look at this little girl on a bike. Do you guys have a bike? I bet a lot of you have a bike. If you do, remember to wear your helmet. This little girl's remembering to wear her helmet. But her bike can take her different places. What are some other things that can take us different places? Can you think of some things? We just read about a train. A train can take us places. A school bus. What else? A car. Hmm. A scooter. Wow, there's a lot of things. Roller skates. I bet you even thought of some that maybe I didn't think of. All right, let's see. All right, we're going to need some words right here. Can you see the words? This is kind of, kind of weird to have this giant book here and then my little head sticking out over it, but we're gonna do our best. <laughs> okay, so this word right here, J-A-M. Jam, very good. What about, let's do this one, J-I-G. J, E, G, Jig, very good. And let's do one more right here. J-O-T, what does that say? Jot, very good. All right, come look over on this side. And we have our sight words that we learned last week. We have here, 
and me. Very good. And here's a sentence with here. Here comes the bus. There's the school bus. And here's a sentence with me. A jet will take me home. Have you ever been on a school bus? I know a lot of you in our class get to ride the school bus. What about an airplane? Have you ever been on an airplane? Airplanes are pretty cool. You get to look down and see all of Utah, all of the things below when you're on a plane. All right, now I'm gonna read you a little story and it's called, Dad Got a Job. Dad got a job. Okay, I'm gonna give you some time so you can say the sentence after I do. Dad got a job at a dock. Good. We had to pack up. Very good. All right, keep saying the sentence after me. Here's the next page. Pack with me, Dad said. Good. We can set up a big box. I pack my red hat. Good job. Next page. Tug, tug, lug, lug. Jam it in, said Dad. Good job. I quit on box six. All right, next page. A big box can fit in a van. You say it. We did it, we did it. We had to get on a bus. A quick bus got us to a jet. got on a quick jet. Jack did not sit with me. Jack had to sit in a bin. Do you know that if you bring your doggy on the airplane, they have to go in this little crate. They can't sit in your lap. All right. We got in a tan cab. Here is the dock. Not bad, Dad, I said. All right, sentence fluency. It says, read Jan's sentences. Jan tells about when she did some things. Here's what she wrote about. First, I got on the ferry. Next, I sat on the bench. I rode the ferry. All right. Prepositions. Prepositions give you more information about the nouns and verbs in a sentence. Listen to this child's work. Mom drove us to the lake. I can ride down the hill. To is a preposition and down is a preposition. Those words are giving us a direction, a direction. They're telling us where to go. To the lake, down the hill. Okay, this is our last page for today. It says, what do you know about our country? Look at this little boy right here. Look at his cool hat that he's wearing. Does anyone know what statue this is right here? I think we've talked about it in class. It's the Statue of Liberty. That's right. And do you remember where it is? If you said New York, you are right. Mrs. Eaton has been here. And I've been all the way in her crown. You get to go up these stairs and there's little windows inside her crown and you can look up 
and you're super high. It's really cool. Maybe someday you guys will get to go to New York and see the Statue of Liberty in real life. Do you know why this statue is important to us? The Statue of Liberty was a gift to our country. Did you know that? Isn't that a really cool gift? Have you ever gotten a gift that nice? <laughs> All right. That's it for today, guys. You guys keep up the good work. You're doing great. I'll see you tomorrow.